Well, you may recall a few recent videos relating to our RV breakdown series and a follow-up that talked about some of the tips and recommendations we had to help keep you safe during a breakdown. Well, in this video, we're going to share some of the items that we feel are very handy for you to have on board your RV or even in your car or truck to help you stay safe in the case of a breakdown. Stay tuned. You may have seen in our recent videos with our breakdown series on the side of the road in our coach, everything turned out okay, but we did come away with some key learnings from it, including realizing that we really needed some more safety items to be able to help us in the event of a breakdown. So we ordered a whole bunch of safety devices and we decided to put them to the test and share them with you here to help decide what might work best for your situation. So let's jump right in. First up, safety cones. And we actually had these safety cones on board with the RV but forgot to put them out when we were in the situation. So first tip, use the safety gear you have. Right, we got these from Home Depot I think before we left. We started out with four of them. We're now down to two because we put them out during uh, the recent Solar Fest event and somehow amongst all the crowds in the field two walked off. But um, we were ready for an upgrade anyway and we already had these items waiting for us. These are kind of heavy. Yeah, but what I like about them, they're they're just simple rubber safety cones and what's great about little simple cones like this is you don't feel concerned about leaving them out to mark a space or block something off in a campsite or to put it below your slide so you remember not to walk into your slide. So these are something that's inexpensive, you don't mind leaving it out and it can still be used during daylight time to still draw attention if you are needing it to put out as a warning to others for safety. And the key word there being daylight time, because even though we broke down both times during the day, as you saw from the videos, they both turned to night by the amount of time we spent on the side of the road. So that inspired us to go out and look for some more solutions that were gonna be more appropriate in a nighttime situation. So next up is... Next up is the 17 inch collapsible cones. Will you tell them about the cones while I get them out of the box? All right, so these cones are expandable. So you can see it's 10 inches by 10 inches base, but it's really flat, so it's not taking up a lot of space in the base. But then you can just expand it, and now it's 17 inches tall, where the other one was 12 inches tall. It's made out of a fabric material, and this gray area at nighttime is reflective fabric. And this one also has the advantage of being able to turn on. You can either have it set to blink or a steady on. And boy, these things are far more visible at nighttime when you have a light that really illuminates the whole cone. So that's a big step up from the simple rubber cones. But you could still use cones for things like setting up in a field to play games with the kids or using them to set a pretend corner if you're going to practice parking your RV when you first get it. It's little things like that are great about cones. And of course, this one slides back down really easy. Once they're compressed down, they're pretty space efficient. They do weigh about three pounds each, so they will account for some weight, cargo carry capacity, but I do, I like this one a lot. All right, so next up. Roadside emergency beacon kit. And these are little LEDs. They look like little hockey pucks. They come in a little canvas bag with the zipper. There's three of them inside. These have magnets on the bottom so you can actually stick it to the side of a metal vehicle. Uh, they screw off and you can put three AAA batteries in there. It does have a little rubber gasket, but I wouldn't necessarily call this weather resistant. So if it was raining, that's a chance that could get wet and damaged. And being so low, if the light's not on, it wouldn't really do you much good but it does light up very well at night as you can see here and you can set that to stay steady on or to blink so this is a, still a great alternative to chemical fire flares because it's much safer being led well i like that this comes in a little carry bag so it keeps it nice and compact that is nice and compact and it's very lightweight it's only one pound for a pack of three and there's about 25 dollars for that pack of three I think one of the good things about this little pack of three is that it's really light and it's really space compact and it's just really convenient to carry. So if you're space limited or weight limited in your RV, this could be a really handy solution. But if you're looking for something a little more heavy duty, 
this may not be the way to go. So these take three AAA batteries and it doesn't come with the battery. So that means you're gonna need nine AAA batteries to alkaline batteries to be able to fire these babies up. And of course, one thing you always need to keep in mind is, are the batteries going to be charged at the time that you need them? So that's always a concern. You might have batteries, but nine is a lot of batteries, nine AAA batteries. If you're in an RV, you may not carry a huge supply of those like you would at a home. Next up. This Magnatech Smart Flares. So another space efficient option are these here. They come in a nice little plastic case. And when you open the case, it's very space efficient inside here. There's two stick shaped flares that are an LED light up top here and it's red when it lights up and it can be set to blink or stay on steady. And another feature I think is pretty cool on this one is at the top, there's a small LED that's white that can be used as a flashlight, which I think is a nice feature. This is also water resistant material and reflective material. So even if the light wasn't going, it would still have some benefit by reflecting light. And these do come with two sets of three AAA batteries, which is nice. That is nice. It also comes with a little plastic base that you can twist to make it more sturdy. And this is a magnetic bottom, so this magnetically attaches to the feet and it could also magnetically attach to the side of some metal object. Um, one like of the a other- car or an RV. Yeah, like a car or a RV that's not made completely out of fiberglass. Right. Um, one thing that it is small and it's really lightweight, this whole thing weighs only a pound, but it doesn't catch a lot of wind, so it might not get blown over anyways. But even if it does, that's part of what I like about the feet on the base is that if it did get fallen over, at least it's not going to go anywhere once it's laying down. It's not going to roll off the side of the road and be useless. So, so it still serves a purpose even though it's not standing up. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Well, you know one thought I had about this one too is that and when this we first got these, my first thought was actually these are really crappy and flimsy and I really wasn't very impressed with them. But then when Mark started working them, with them and testing them, he said actually these these are really good handy sets to have. So we're definitely going to keep these ones. But the other thing that's handy is if you needed to say go off and find an emergency phone or you needed to walk away from your vehicle for a while, you could leave one of these by your vehicle and mm -hmm. carry one of these with you to keep you safe while you're walking if it's dark or you know you could carry it along. Absolutely, that's so a great that idea. I didn't even think safety. about that. I just thought of it now. There you go. <laughs> Because it's not too heavy and uncomfortable. Yeah, it's super light and it has the blinky red and a flashlight function. Super lightweight to carry with you. Again, that's a great idea to keep yourself safe by drawing attention to yourself. And if someone tries to attack you, you could just like... You could. Nice. You could Very use it good. as a weapon. <laughs> Speaking of personal safety, let's also suggest that you maybe wear a vest. So with a bright colored vest like this, you can probably see me much easier now than you did earlier on this video. And, uh, but you can buy an actual safety vest that's specifically for safety, but this is one that I happen to have on board for bicycling, so I just have a multiple purpose with this. But ones that you buy specifically as a safety vest would be more likely to have reflective material mm -hmm. integrated as well, which would be excellent if, if you're ever in a situation where the light gets low or after dark. Right. Next up big red plastic case. <laughs> this weighs about 10 pounds and what's cool about this though is it's not just one thing in here there's three of them and these are giant reflective 17 inch triangles. Now one piece of advice I'd have for you on these is get them out of the box and practice assembling them while you're in a calm situation in your house so you don't first time you're grabbing it not trying to figure out how to do this because and I it is, work it, out. it is really simple, but if you're trying to be really gentle to not break the plastic, Which you was. might not quite figure out how to open it up. But once right. you're a little bit more firm with it, you can unclip it pretty easy. And then it just clips together. And then the base twists. And so now has a very sturdy four point stance. And it's a 17 inch triangle. It's really bright orange during the day, and then this red material is highly reflective at night. Uh, this is actually the only item in this set of that we've shown today that is Department of Transportation approved. 
I've seen these on the side of the road with other people's rigs. They are very visible, um, especially during the day. And then at night, the only thing, reflectors are great, but they're only really going to show up when someone else's lights hit them. Mm -hmm. So that is a little bit of a limitation, but at least these are really stable, really safe, and a very durable product because you don't have to depend on battery. So if you were in a huge torrential rains or if you had... You won't have to worry about water resistance. If the batteries die, that's not a, a factor for these because this is just a very simple, reliable piece of safety equipment. And I believe these are $25 for the set of three. So, so you got uh, quite a bit of visibility for that. This is definitely the most bulky and the heaviest of all of these items that we've shared with you today. I think every single one of them has their merits. It's just a matter of what's best for your situation, your needs, and your preferences. Uh, personally, you want to share which ones we've decided to keep? Sure. I'm definitely keeping my existing rubber cones because I love to be able to leave those out to, to put underneath a slide or other just general safety where I don't worry about them being out all night and having them walk off. Yeah, over three years on the road and occasionally we still hit our heads on the slide. It happens. Every Not time often. you do it, you swear it's your last. <laughs> Never is. I also would like to keep a couple of these expandable ones because it still has the cone benefit of the others, but I really like the ability to turn it on at night and really see it from a great distance, and I mm -hmm. like the taller size. Mm -hmm. These are about $15 each on Amazon. So they're one of the more expensive solutions by the time you get a few of them, but yeah. I still just really like it. Yeah. And then this one is actually kind of funny. This was the little dark horse on it because when we first looked at it, we were really not impressed, but the more time I spent with it, the more impressed I got with it. So we're going to keep these because I like how compact it is. It's a great safety kit to be able to keep in the car, in the Mini, because it has a very space limited. And you can stick it on the side of the car. I do like that. Mm -hmm. And you could use the flashlight and this base, and if you set it on the side, if you're needing just a little bit of flashlight to view what you're working on, that's just a nice little benefit. Yeah, when we first got these, I just thought they were really cheap, crappy, and I was not impressed at all. But the reason I bought them is because they came with really, really good reviews. And after spending some time uh, working with it and using it and thinking about how it could benefit in a breakdown safety situation, came to realize that it really is pretty handy after all. We'd also be remiss if we didn't mention our NOCO Genius Boost Pro, because even though this is really meant to be jump-starting a vehicle, it also has a really powerful light that you can light up a huge area if you're needing to work with it, but it also has a strobe light function that blinks, and it's so bright, you'd be able to see that from a really far away. Uh, the only downside is that light is bright white, and so I wouldn't want to set it up tall pointing back at traffic because I wouldn't want to risk blinding other drivers and then having them not even be able to see my cones because I've been blinding them with the bright light and have them crash into me. But this is a really cool product that we already carry on board for other purposes, but it can double as a nice safety tool as well. What I love about this to have on board in a breakdown or safety situation is often a breakdown, as it was in one of our cases, was due to flat batteries. So that is designed to help for that. Yeah. Secondly, uh, if you need to jump start someone else, you can also do that with these little alligator clips. The light, as Mark mentioned, but also what is great is if, if you're a coach or if you're an RV or a truck or whatever breaks down and you're out of power, let's say your batteries do die and you need to stay connected with your cell phone and you're running out of charge, this has this has a little uh, USB charging ports here and even a 12 volt charging port. So you can also keep devices charged. We don't recommend doing that as a general rule because the purpose of this is to keep it charged to be able to charge vehicles. And you don't want to be in a situation where you've used it charging your iPhone and your iPad and then you've run out of vehicle juice, <laughs> yeah. which could but happen. But it's really great, great to have this. I do really yeah. love this. It's got like four different ports on here and it's super handy. And this is something that we just already happen to have on board, but it's really, really great for that situation as well. Yeah, we did a much more extensive review of this NOCO Genius Boost Pro Booster on our Road Gear Reviews channel, so be sure to check that out as well. We'll put the link to that video down in the description below as well. 
last video we said we were going to put together a safety checklist to have handy so if you're in the event of a breakdown or a situation i mean it's a very stressful thing that happens it happened to us we forgot to put out our own safety cones because we were dealing with the stress of the moment so we've put together a checklist that you can reference in that situation keep it in a really handy place in your rv maybe with your roadside assistance um, information we're going to put a link to that and uh so you can go and download that list and for free and have that handy and help you out in a but one of the biggest keys to remember is remember you have your safety gear <laughs> right. and f f to use it and uh you know if it's it's easy with all the distractions going on that you might forget to be able to put some of your flares or your warning cones out well, we hope you found this video helpful taking a look at all of the different safety options that can help you out in the situation of a breakdown. There is, I think, pretty much something for everyone in every kind of RV or situation here. It's just a matter of what's going to work best for you, how much space and weight capacity you have, and simply which one you prefer. We'll put links to all these products in the description below. And if you have any comments, or questions, or, or if you've had experience with any of these items yourself, we'd love to hear from you. Put them down in the comments because what you have to share can help others as well. So if you found any of these useful or not useful in a specific situation, we want to hear about it. Yeah, so we hope you found this helpful. Stay safe out there. And until next time, we'll, we'll see, see you on, on the road. road. There's a little button. Where's the button? Yeah. There's a little button. Oh, there's a beat. Yeah. We got three of these and you can stack them. Can you stack them? Or not? But they're just, no, they're not stackable. Forget but they do that. take up less space. Because... Say, I was talking over you, so. We'll put the link down in the description below to that as well. We'll put the link to that down in the video. We'll put, what are you, who's saying it? Because your, your mouth keeps opening when, which, who's saying it? You are, sure. About more pros, Well. Or something. We wrote a blog post about these items as well. If you'd rather go check that out on the blog and read about them to have more detail.